Hello drivers, today we are going to compare uh, a DIY steering wheel with uh, a commercial steering wheel. Uh, we have uh, the, the S30 button plate that I released uh, maybe two weeks ago and uh, the button plate from NSH Racing in France. Um, I wanted uh, to, to do this video for quite a long time now uh, because I often have people uh, asking me questions about uh, DIY steering wheels or uh, models and most of the, of the time uh, I explain that it isn't uh, always a good idea to do a, a DIY steering wheel and in any case uh, you won't be able to reach the level of quality of a commercial product and that's what, what we are going to see in this video. Let's go! What caught my eyes when I got this wheel is the printing quality. Here you see the face that goes on uh, the printer bed and honestly it's perfect. They are using uh, a specific bed plate that gives uh, this render uh, clean, uh, regular, uniform, slightly grainy. Um, and honestly even on the, the whole body it's very barely visible that they are using 3D printers, uh, it's very clean. Um, NSH Racing is using four uh, Prisa printers, uh, but it's not that just that they are using high end printers, it goes further. Uh, those printers are perfectly tuned and they are also using uh, the same material each time and they optimized the, the settings for those printers. Uh, and that what give this render. Um, in DIY, you can also have an incredible uh, printing quality, but here is what I got with my Ender Free. As you can see, my bed is quite worn. Uh, I really, I really need to change it. And uh, globally speaking, my printing quality isn't that good those days. It's not that regular. We can have better, but here is what I got. Another big difference, and here it's hard to compete with, is the fact that NSH Racing is using multiple materials, uh, mainly 3D printing and carbon fiber. And in DIY, basically, basically we can't use a carbon fiber or uh, we have to buy uh, complete sets that are far more expensive. Uh, here, the carbon fiber uh, gives obviously a nice looking but makes also the wheel stronger as you can see the paddles are uh, in carbon fiber um, and also the top plate is in carbon fiber and that's what makes uh, this wheel extremely uh, strong. At uh, the other end on my new button plate I use a very uh, wide uh, walls uh, so it's very strong, no problem about it, but uh, basically for the paddles, uh, it's very hard to do, uh, to make some strong paddles, and I know that 
those uh, 3D printing powders will be weaker than the, the carbon fiber ones. Consequently, when you combine uh, 3D printing quality and carbon fiber, it allows to have this plate that in fact is magnetic. You, you see there is a uh, free magnets uh, that goes on the, the screws uh, there. And uh, just this plate, in fact, it took me quite a long time to understand uh, how it was made. Um, so here you have a very thin carbon fiber sheet and once again the mining is perfect. Uh, Clean. and uh, below you have uh, just a plate, a 3D printed uh, plate, but uh, yeah, once again, uh, it took me quite a long time to figure out uh, how, that it was made uh, by 3D printing and not just a, a cutted uh, plastic plate. And uh, once again, it really gives, the, you know, the, the, the perfect uh, finish. We continue with uh, the quality of the buttons. Obviously here uh, we can easily compete with uh, in DIY, but simply here uh, it is buttons from Aliexpress that cost one euro. Um, those ones are okay, but I already tried a lot of um, models from Aliexpress and most of the, the time it's not real or over time. Those ones are okay, but often there is another problem that uh, is that the thing isn't uh, the same from one button to another. At NSH, uh, obviously, we don't use buttons from AliExpress, it's buttons from NKK. Uh, we can use NKK on DIY steering wheel, but obviously it will be far more expensive. Um, so, yeah, and for the Rotarian colors, I think that everyone is using the same. Uh, it is the CTS288. Uh, um, mostly because it's the best rotary and color that you can find and they are th there is quite a lot of resistance compared to the others so it's very suitable and here you also have a nut switch uh, that turns uh, you have the arrows and the, the enter key and uh, it comes from Alps Alpine and once again it's quite expensive the fourth difference is uh, on the stickers yeah it's rather stupid, but those stickers gives uh, an information on what does each button. It gives uh, a nice looking and it's closer to the reality. And obviously in DIY, we don't have easily access to this. So what I did is that I pretty printed uh, directly the information on the top plate, but obviously it's not that indeed. On top of that, NSH Racing provides, uh, as you can see, extra stickers that allow you to customize the wheel. My very last point will be about uh, the screws. Here, uh, the thing is to have the very right screw at uh, each uh, place. Here, by example, for the paddle, you see that you have button screws uh, with uh, the ring that we spread the load. You can do it in DIY, but if you need to have 50 different models, it will be far more expensive. So here are uh, the major points I wanted to show you. Uh, obviously, there is a lot of uh, few details that also make uh, this wheel different from uh, a DIY. Uh, project. If you know high quality or DIY steering wheel projects, feel free to put it uh, in the comments. I also want to add that it's not uh, an ad for NSH racing, okay? Uh, yeah, they give me this wheel, so it, it is this wheel that, that I'm showing uh, that, that I am showing to you, but I guess that you will find the same level of quality. Uh, uh, from other manufacturers. Um, therefore, this uh, steering wheel for uh, 550 euros, there is also a pro uh, version that comes with uh, an uh, aluminium body, but I don't think that it's necessary. The 3D printed one is already extremely uh, strong. I'm not uh, against DIY neither. Uh, obviously, I am. Uh, I just love to do uh, DIY projects, and I won't stop. But I have to admit that uh, there there is quite a lot of differences, and it's not that easy to beat. Uh, I also have uh, to to add that 
I'm mostly playing in VR. So in VR, if your steering wheel isn't that fancy, it's not a problem at all. I also want to show you a, a nice feature about the steering wheel. On, um, on this button plate, the steering wheel can be removed uh, and the button plate uh, stay in place. So you can just swap the rim and keep the buttons. You don't have to assign any other buttons. So I really think that it's very handy to use. So, uh, if it's not already the case, uh, please subscribe to the channel. I'll, I will put a link in the description uh, for my button plate, for this button plate. And uh, I just have to say au revoir!